Hello everybody, my name is BNB, and like I promised you, this commentary will be a question and answers. But really quick, I want to go over just the gameplay. This is an extremely old gameplay, and that was a great way to start the game. Be new to rain the face. Oh yeah. To the face, to the face. But yeah, anyway. Uh, this is a very, very old game. It was... I got this probably two months ago. It was a, around the time... I know it was before the... A little bit before the Just Nuketown playlist came out. And probably about a week before that. It was a little bit before my 184 kill demolition on Nuketown. And I posted um, just a little bit before that. So if that gives you a perspective of how old it is. Also, I believe... Fifth prestige in this game. Now I'm seventh prestige, but I really have not been playing much lately either. So, yeah. So my first question. Let's just get into the question and answers. First question: What is your favorite Call of Duty game of all time? So, really, unfortunately, I only have really two things I can answer for this: Marvel 2 or Black Ops. Because I'm gonna go into my history of Call of Duty here. Hopefully, this question won't take too long. Um, but anyway, I actually I forgot to say this. Um, I tried to wait on the question and answers, so when I looked back at these questions, they I had more spontaneous answers, so I actually had to think of them <laughs> instead of just like having an answer already implanted in my mind. Anyway, how I got introduced to Call of Duty. I got Call of Duty 3 for the Wii uh, about two months after it came out, so that was a long time ago. I was a little good boy, good at two shoes, and I did not like the game really, and I didn't know what to do, so I played for about two hours of time ever and that's it so maybe I should go back and play that a little bit uh, and that was an epic shot there but anyway how I got to introduce to Call of Duty technically was my friend uh, invited me over to his house and he's just like hey have you ever played Marvel 2 and I'm like what's that and he's like what and so then I watched him play and then the next time I went over we played some split screen we played on Rust that's all I know and I got three kills and 70 some deaths I think it was 77 deaths but it was in February or March of 2010, so it was a while ago, obviously. And, you know, <laughs> it's funny, because then, like, <laughs> I'm kind of zoning out right now. Like, I always do in my commentaries. But, basically, all he told me how to do was shoot and walk, and he told me I'd figure the rest out by myself. And I kind of did, but after I played and got a kill-death ratio of about .03 or whatever it was... I decided that I was not good at this game at all, but I decided that I liked it, and I asked, begged my parents for it, I should say. I didn't ask for it, I begged them to get me a PS3 and Black Ops, and the reason I got PS3 here and Xbox, the reason I had PS1 PS3 was because my friend told me how it was free online and Xbox, co Xbox costed money, and my, I just kind of wanted to jump right into online, so it's pretty funny also. I never played campaign, never played split screen, I literally jumped right into online. When I hit about level 50 before I prestiged, uh, that's kind of when I started to know a little bit more what I was doing. My friends helped me out a little bit. And basically, when I was around that point, just imagine getting to level 50 when you're going like 2 and 15 every single game. That totally ruins your kill-death ratio forever. Even if you pretty much go 15 and 2 for a whole prestige, that will barely... that like Technically, that wouldn't even get you back up to 1 because unless you wait at the end of the prestige because it takes a lot longer especially when you're only playing team deathmatch and there's no objective in it because team deathmatch was just what I was used to but anyway that's like how I ruined everything in Marfa 2 but it's, that's my Call of Duty history then I got Black Ops right at the release I got Marfa 2 in April by the way um, April 2010 so I'm still a noob to Marfa 2 but I'd have to say like most people are saying Marfa 2 is a more fun game but Black Ops is the better game you know, I'd have to say that my favorite game, though, of them is Marfa 2, and I might actually just get Marfa 1 and see how much I like that. See, I don't know if it's like hacked the crap out of anything still. Don't know if I'll fix it or not, though. And that was a long question, so I'll go a little bit quicker now. Second question, what games do you play other than Black Ops? Right now, I really am not playing too many other games. Right now, I'm really not playing much for any games. Um... I've been playing some Minecraft off and on, but really I'm just kind of trying to get some stuff for school out of the way, and I really have been playing, like, averaging about one game of Black Ops a day, and that's not very good. So, I don't know 
in April, everything will change once uh, my birthday comes. And triple spray. Uh, oh, get some. But anyway, yeah, so not really many other games right now. But you know, I, I've been playing a variety of computer games. So. The next question, when are you going to start posting Minecraft? I have not been playing too much Minecraft, but I have been playing it for you guys. I think I'm going to, uh, for my birthday, which is April, April 8th, I'm going to ask for a good screen recorder, good computer screen recorder, and really, I would love to post some stuff for you guys, whatever you want, and then I'd do that for you, so expect that in April. And so, about three weeks, actually three weeks from today is my birthday. Uh, assuming that you're watching this the day it was uploaded, which is Friday, which you're probably not. But anyway, next question. If you could pick one YouTuber to do a dual commentary with, who would it be? Now, I really like this question, actually. This is a really good question. So I want you guys to answer this, too. So listen again. If you could pick one YouTuber to do a dual commentary with, who would it be? So this is... Oh, gosh. This is a really good question. Uh, I'd have to say Bayesian Canadian. He's a great... He's actually very funny. He's actually one of my favorite people. I'm sure that you've probably heard of him. I don't know if you've really heard too much about him, though. Also, Try Hard Ninja is such a beast. That'd be pretty cool. And, of course, just Scene Anderson. Guys, don't be, like, totally realistic about this. Don't say, like, oh, I only have 15 subscribers, so I need to make sure that the person that I picked doesn't have more than, like, 30. No, just, just pick someone... Pick anyone that you would like to do a little commentary with. So, yeah. I'd have to say, Try Her Ninja would be pretty awesome. Next question, a little bit more personal with this one. Looks like. yep. What is your favorite sport? Um, my favorite sport to play is baseball. And my favorite sport to watch would definitely be football. American football. Not British football or any other place football. Um, have you pre-ordered Homefront? And this question was sent out before Homefront was... Released, obviously. And no, I have not. Because I do not... I really just cannot get good ideas for my birthday. So, whenever it gets in with, like, two months... Um, sorry. Whenever it gets within, like, two months of my birthday or Christmas, I have to... My parents don't let me buy anything. Because otherwise I'm, like, impossible to shop for. So, no, I have not. And that will also probably be coming April. Next question. Uh, which is better, Infinity Ward or Treyarch? Now, this is kind of similar to Mark 2 versus Black Ops for me. You know, and this is just the crap that you hear from every commentator. Uh, oh, Infinity Ward makes the better games, the Black Ops patched games better. So, I don't know, I think it would be pretty awesome if they could, like, one of the Call of Duty games, like the last Call of Duty game, they all work together. And, yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Okay, this is running to an end. If you could kill one person, who would it be? Justin Bieber, I hate him. So... That was a good question. Where do you live? None of your business, son. United States. Adios.